and welcome back. So today we are in the kitchen. It is fall, finally, and we are whipping up a low calorie Starbuck dupe pumpkin spice latte. All the taste without all the calories. So if you are a fan of Starbucks, if you're a fan of pumpkin, if you're a fan of a fraction of the calories and still tasting good, make sure to keep on watching because we are going to whip up a very quick, healthy, delicious pumpkin spice latte, um, literally in just a few minutes. If you have not hit that subscribe button, make sure to do so. Ring the bell so that way you don't miss any of our videos. You can join our little tribe that is growing right here on YouTube. Um, and four times a week, fit tips, health tips, weight loss tips, recipes. Um, who wants to miss that? So make sure to hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, ring the bell, and without further ado, let's get cooking. So I have a saucepan. You're gonna need some kind of pan and some heat. <laughs> All right, and then the, the ingredients that you're gonna need are really, really simple. Um, we got some vanilla cream stevia, 100% pure pumpkin. We got cinnamon, ground ginger, and nutmeg some unsweetened cashew milk, a glass, and a saucepan. Now those ingredients, you the milk can be any kind of milk you want. I'm a fan of either a low fat milk or unsweetened cashew milk. And the reason I love unsweetened cashew milk is it's really creamy. It's actually creamier and thicker than almond milk, which is always good for lattes. Um, and then the only other thing I showed you the ingredients, you want to make sure you get pure pumpkin, not pumpkin pie mix. It'll say pure pumpkin, just like the can that I showed you. All right. So we're going to start dumping, uh, the ingredients into the saucepan and yeah. Okay. We have one cup of unsweetened cashew milk going in. One tablespoon of pure pumpkin puree going right in. We're gonna turn the burner on medium heat and whisk that together. And you wanna make sure to whisk it and get it 100% combined. When it's combined, it'll kind of be like a light, almost look like coffee with lots of creamer. Okay, it's steaming. It's not bubbling yet. When it starts bubbling, I'm gonna add in uh, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, and a pinch of ginger right into this mix. Can see some little bubbles. To that, I'm gonna add several drops of the liquid stevia, just depending on how sweet you like it. And you can use any stevia. I My favorite to any drink is the vanilla cream. It is delicious. Okay, now that part's done, I have a regular coffee cup. I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of coffee to the mug, just like that. I'm then going to add our mixture, pour that right into the coffee. At this point, I'm gonna take some fat-free Ready Whip and we are going to put that right on top. My goodness, a little bit of cinnamon, bam, bam. Oh my goodness. And here we have the, literally a couple minutes, you have the ingredients in your pantry. And here's the thing, you can make one cup at a time. You can store the pumpkin, everything stays in your fridge, the pumpkin, the cashew milk, and you can just make one whenever you want. It takes a couple minutes and it is delicious. Now you can skip out on the whipped cream if you just want the pumpkin latte, but you know, what do I have? Oh, I do have something. No, <laughs> I always do that to my husband. I'm like, wait, 
Do I have anything? He's like, stop it. Yes, you know you do. Anyway, um, let me know if you make these. Let me know if you enjoy pumpkin. Are you a pumpkin person? Are you like an all in pumpkin guy or girl? Or are you a pumpkins overrated type of person? Let me know in the comments if you're a team pumpkin or a team over it. Um, anyway, enjoy your fraction of the calories pumpkin spice latte. Make sure to check out, we do have a healthy, a healthy uh, hot chocolate one that's gonna be coming up. So make sure to be watching for that. It's a 35 calorie cup of hot chocolate. If you're a fan of yummy, delicious, homey, warm drinks. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.